You like that? What's going on? <laughs> you just can't have the laptop. So that was our script. Okay? Yeah. That was the, that okay, was. well, okay, here we go. Uh, can, can, um, can we get one more director? Cut! Can we get one more? All right. And action. What's going on, everybody? Dr. Thomas Rashard Easley, chilling with Adrian Charleston. True Butterfly. Yes. And together we are genuinely, genuinely unexpected. unexpected. We're back again with a live episode. Yes. A live one. Live. You know, we rarely get to do them like this together in the same space, so yes. it's always a blessing yes. to be here with you. Thank yes. you for allowing me to come through again. Anytime. You know, I love being back home. Yes. I love being back home with my sister. No need to make you it know. up that way to you. Hey, come and you and you know that you're welcome. You when it's not cold. Welcome. Well, you know what? Let, let me just do a little spin-off. With climate change, you know, on a uh, serious uh, note, it's kind of hard to tell you when that is. Uh, uh when I left it was it was actually warmer than here. Uh, five days ago, five days because it was kind of cool. Oh, wow. It was warmer than here. Oh, so, wow. uh, and it was warmer than Alabama. I mean, oh. it was yeah, it was yeah. It was so. Okay. Yes, the typical time is April beyond, but I'll let you know if I get back and I'm like, yo, butterfly, I see butterfly. <laughs> you might need to make a trip. You might need to make a trip. <laughs> But well, you know, you're always okay. welcome. All right. know, but I'm happy to be back in North Carolina. Good, when yes. My voice yes. gets a little bit deeper in the country. Yes. You know, how's your holiday season been, my beautiful friend? It's been wonderful. Would, would, would you mind elaborate? Or can you elaborate? Or I mean, I don't really celebrate the holidays. So for me, it's always wonderful. Great. So Great. I, it's like any other time, except, for, I would say, except for I get time off, but I actually um, go ahead and volunteer to work during the holidays because where I work is 24 hours so I'd rather have a psychologist around that wants to be around instead of one who wants to rush and get back to their families and not help and treat people so I always volunteer especially for Christmas New Year's no uh, Christmas I always work just because I'd rather do that than anything else understand understand <laughs> actually well if uh, I'd like to continue well enjoy you on that I okay. don't celebrate either huh. you know now it's a little bit Maybe a little odd for me and the people who know any of my history, uh, right. you know, being uh, the, you know, formerly a campus pastor. Right. Uh, you know, I do, you know, I still identify as a follower of Jesus. I, yes, I, yes, I, I would yes. say that. Mm -hmm. But I uh, recognize for me now, with all the things that I do know yes. about economics <laughs> and the things I do know historically mm -hmm. and the things that I even know about capitalism in, in yes. particular. Uh, Christmas is not a day that I uh, that I really uh, celebrate. New Year's, of course, you know, it's time yes. to get ready for the new year. You know, we got yes. big things coming in 2019. Yes. Maserati is what we're talking yes. about. Let's make it happen. I'm not know? getting a Maserati, yeah. but I'm going to get a, the new Fiat, the Spider. Don't judge me. Fiat. That's what I want. She'll get the new Spider. I'm going to try to reduce my carbon footprint, you know, go a different way. We'll, we will see. You know, but today, yes. as I asked my friend about uh, the holidays, that's part of what this is about. Yes. You know, um, the holidays, the holidays, the holidays. Yes. And in particular, the Christmas one. Yes. New Year's. And there's so many others. Yes. I think when I was a child, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the holidays. I did. Okay. You know, I, um, I remember waking up on December 25th. Mm -hmm. I remember trying to stay awake on December 24th and look out the corner of my eye to see some closet coming, you know. I, I remember. And, um, and but I remember on the 25th, my sister and I, and it's just two of us, because I know, you know, like you, have, you have a bigger family than me. Yes. It was only two of us, but man, we would tear through those gifts. You yes. know, grandma and granddad would come over. Mm. And it was just good to have us all together, you know, doing that. Yeah. And we, we watch A Christmas Story or It's a Wonderful Life. You know, we eat till our belly's content, if you will. Yeah. And then I think the next week the toys were being wasted mm -hmm. because I wasn't playing with them anymore. Right, right. Um, 
I would go back to school and every now and then I would see a kid who maybe they didn't have their family or right. maybe you know they didn't get as many toys. Um, I would see you know loved ones, even like family, like blood family, mm -hmm. you know, who were struggling during the holidays because maybe a parent had passed or you know a sibling. So when I think about the holidays now at forty, mm -hmm. I want to I'm, I'm going to keep this positive. I think they have a place. In a way of bring, maybe bringing people together. Yes. If people decide to celebrate, if people decide to partake, I don't think everyone has to. Right. But I do think that there's a big boat I still feel that we're missing. Right. When I think about how we use our money, mm -hmm. the impact this has on families, right. uh, shoot, even relationships, you know, yes. I, I expect this on Christmas versus yes. it just being us spending time together, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever, and I just really feel like the holidays are not so holy. That's basically what I want to say. Mm. The holidays are not so holy, since there's really are supposed to be holy days. And I just don't think that we even acknowledge them in the right way. Mm -hmm. And even when we know, now I have to say this and I shut up because I've talked for a long time. No, even when we know mm -hmm. that this isn't right or that something's not, like, this isn't the picture. If you believe right. in Christmas and Jesus being born, then you know he wasn't born on December 25th. Mm -hmm. And how could three wise men get right to him? If you understand where the wise men were coming from, it wasn't a day's journey. Mm -hmm. It was a multiple day's journey mm -hmm. to get, you know. So there's so many other pieces of the story. And I just look at how we go into this. And even the people who know, I know that something's off. I know something's not right. It trips me out when people still want to give. They still want a card. They still, and I'm just like, okay. And that's why I say something's off. Because even when people know that it's off, they still mm -hmm. want something. Butterfly, I'll yes. pause. And, and for me, I, I say I don't celebrate, but I do do stuff with my with my son because that's you know yep. my immediate family. We kind of my family we cut down on the big Christmas celebrations. Um, I think it's partly because of me. Um, we stopped when my son uh, was like, well, we slowed down when he was about six and figured out there was no Santa Claus. So I was like, okay, cool. Then by ten, when he figured out that, uh, oh, you mean that if I don't open a lot under this tree. My auntie can come get your credit card and take me shopping and I can get a lot more after Christmas. That's just what we doing? Yup, sure can. And then he go get all the shoes he want, get everything he need, you and know. On a sale. Uh, on a sale. On a sale. Right. It's and guess what? what? I ain't got to go to the mall. But. No one else is taking them. Exactly. So it's not too stressful for you. That's right. He's having a good time. That's Maybe right. Maybe sister's enjoying it. Or oh, yeah. Enjoy. And my sister won't spend so much money on my little credit card. And okay. that was it. And that was him growing up so we kind of right. got away from Christmas mm. during that time and, and I mm. wasn't mad and then I started letting my family know hey we, you know we're not doing gifts mm -hmm. you know don't buy me anything because I'm not buying you anything mm -hmm. and and that's the thing like some people think that oh well you just doing it not to buy people stuff no I tell them not to buy me stuff don't give me anything and my my family we we are even when we do get together for Christmas which is every couple years we'll get together for Christmas mm -hmm. it is and when they do give me something it is so practical like <laughs> like in this house you know it's three of us here mm -hmm. so so the second lady of the house she bought me some kind bars you know the mm -hmm. breakfast bar yeah, things yes, yes. some frosted flakes <laughs> and a little scarf with a scripture on it mm -hmm. like it's it's not big stuff mm -hmm. like we don't do big stuff and in my family mm -hmm. I might for my sister or somebody they'll give me like some Doritos Mm -hmm. Or some free panties they have from Victoria's Secret. You know, you get the little free thing. I'm just oh, saying. I didn't know. No, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it in the mail. You get free drugs, and she'll go get the free ones and give them to me. So we we're getting to where it's not about how That's much we spend, but mm -hmm. because they can't get away from the gift thing, <laughs> they do something still. Interesting, yeah. And when they give me a bag of Doritos, I'm happy for it because mm -hmm. I try not to eat a lot of Doritos throughout the year because that's my kryptonite. I feel that it's mm, brain food and it right. helps me in everything that I do, but I don't need to eat it all the time. <laughs> Doritos is brain food. Yes. Respect. Yes. Respect. <laughs> Says the vegetarian. Yes. Hey. So the other lady of the house wow. bought me Frosted Flakes because I kept eating hers. So, you know, it goes. <laughs> I respect that. No, no, no. I respect that. She's like, you know what? Here's your own box of Frosted Flakes. <laughs> no, no, no. So when we, that. you know, quote unquote, celebrate, mm -hmm. it's not, it's still not the commercialized way of going in debt, going broke, mm -hmm. people being upset about what they gave. 
somebody gave you something so you gotta run out and give them something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and also um recently i'm, I'm seeing someone so um <laughs> i had to throw that out there no, no, no. yes i asked him not to get me anything mm -hmm. and when the day came and went I, I asked him i was like are you okay he was like it's just strange he's like i don't know what to do or how to feel he said like you said not to get you something and you mm -hmm. actually meant not to you get you anything <laughs> you meant it. You meant yes. It. Yes. yes yes and so you know it, mm -hmm. it, it goes both way and my my thing is i'm gonna do for you all through the year i shouldn't mm -hmm. be forced for any day for me to do else for you that goes for valentine's day as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, just gonna throw, just hey, shake just that just up. Shake that Throw up. that out there. So, <laughs> What's the crap? Right. Throw that out there. Like, when we talking about holidays, we talking about holidays. Uh -huh. All yes. of them. All of them. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. So my birthday's a holiday, too, but we celebrating that. Go ahead. Okay, well, you know you know mine is. Yes, mine's yes yours holiday. is a holiday. Fourth of well, July, y'all. Mine normally falls Memorial Day. So, so look at that. So, we both, we, nation, holidays. Have to. You know, when things have happened. Right. <laughs> so we have to celebrate those. <laughs> <laughs> so you celebrating us. Even yes. if you don't believe in it, then just celebrate us, dang it. That's celebrate what I tell people. Us. Even though the Declaration of Independence was signed on August 4th, not the 4th of July. Yes. Then I said that. If you know your real history, then just celebrate me. Enjoy That's yourself. Right. right. But you know, you, you said you said, you said some No, I mean same way, you know, my sweet we got a mattress. Yeah. Needed to rest. Mm -hmm. My mattress is caused. Right, but, but it's, it was something needed, need something that, yeah. you know, that's not, oh, let me just get this, ooh, this is seems okay, ooh, mm -hmm. this is advertising, you know, stuff that yeah. people need. Like, yeah. people, I, I, you know, going back, I love getting my drawers for Christmas, like this. Okay. Yeah. I, I love mm -hmm. them, I need them, I have a drawer full of drawers that I didn't have to pay for. <laughs> drawer. And they're needed. For the drawers that yes. you didn't have to pay for. Yes. But you said something <laughs> about, you know, it, it was something with regard to your to, to your family. I can feel the same way with my family. Mm -hmm. You said it can't get away from the gift. Yes. The gift given. Yes. And you know, and and, and, and I'm not here to bad mouth our families at all. Right, right, right. Um but you know, I wanna I, t I tell it like 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 as I was walking with a great man recently, my dad. Mm -hmm. And uh <clears throat> You know, he's getting healthy and you know, proud of him. You mm -hmm. know, he's uh, exercising again. He's recently retired. Mm -hmm. You know, so he, he's he's handling business. Yes. And we're walking down the street and I said, Pop, hey, you got to stop drinking sodas. For real. And then he was like, okay. I said, the zero calorie ones too. They're not true zero calorie. Right. Daddy. It's not, there's no sugar. That there's stuff in there that your body cannot handle, and, you know. And as you get older, it's, it's hard for your body to, you know, like fight fight that stuff, especially if you develop diabetes or anything else. Mm -hmm. And then we just started having another conversation, and he said these two words that that are combined in one. He said, "All these years, you know what I realized? I was brainwashed." Mm -hmm. He said, "I was brainwashed." He said, mm -hmm. "Watching television too much. I was brainwashed. Yes. Watching." And keep in mind, this is a sixty-plus-year-old man mm -hmm. uh, who is brilliant. You know, by the way, mm -hmm. but he acknowledged that he was brainwashed, mm -hmm. and that there are things that he's been doing. Right. He looks at me, do the antithesis of it, and it's like, son, why do you do it? And he sees the benefit of it. What right. I appreciate is that he doesn't challenge me. He always wants to know why. Right. And same with me to him. It's like, why do you, you know, why do you still do that? And I say it in a nice tone. Why do you still do that? Exactly. And whenever he says, I don't know, I'm mm -hmm. like, well, I think we need to look at why we, you know. And then whenever he asks me why I do something, and I actually tell him, then mm -hmm. it's like. And then I can tell the party was like, why didn't I think of that? Right. Why didn't I think of that when I was your age? Why didn't I think, you know? Mm -hmm. And when he said brainwashed. Mm -hmm. So I say that because I believe, mm -hmm. and like I said, I, I'm, I, I want to stay positive because I'm in a great mood. Like oh. I said, one of my yes. friends and family, you know what yes. I'm saying? So I'm in a great mood. <laughs> and that's why I actually wanted to talk about it today. Yes. Because I'm not agitated. I'm, I'm saying that I'm not trying to, I'm not broke. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I have money. I can do gifts. It's not, it's not about that now. Right. Now it's like, but what do these gifts mean? Right. What does this time mean? And to me, the greatest gift is the person. Exactly. If you know, that's why I'm in a good mood. If I if I if I get to spend time, you know, seemingly, you know, if I yes. get to see you, mm -hmm. right? You know, if the gift isn't the person, well, why am I getting you something in? Right. You see, versus feeling like I'm getting something from you just being in your presence. Right. 
and with my parents, you know, and I hope that they see this, not because I'm trying to get out of giving gifts, because I didn't, I gave gifts this year. They're my gift every year. I, I really hope that they understand that for me to just be with them right. is all I need. Like, if I just saw them, to know that my dad's here, mm -hmm. and my mom is here, and to know that they're together, right. I'm good to know, to see my sister, I'm like, mm -hmm. Because the gift for me to be able to see and to be with you and to eat. So what I'm saying is that I'm not trying to get all stuck in faith. Right. I just hope one day, just as you were able to go, don't buy me anything. Right. And you mean know, it. And mean it. Mm -hmm. You know, and not because I'm not going to get you something. Just first, I don't need that. And look, because I don't celebrate, I'm not going to partake in this. Right. So please don't think of you robbing me by not giving me anything. And know that I'm not trying to say I don't like Oh, you friend, because I've been doing this throughout the year. Right. I just think that there are other ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if we could just go genuinely, I guess it's unexpected to not ask yes. for gifts. If we could yes. genuinely give gifts and do it in an unexpected time, like, hey, just come up, hey, I got something for you. Then I think these holy days will really be holy again yes. because the real gift will be the people. And that's what it should be. Because, you know, people send that, get on Facebook and, like, your presence is the present. And... I don't know how much they mean that, but yeah. that's what it should be. So, like the most of our time for my family is New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. That's when we cook, we eat, we drink. That's the one year, one day a year I drink <laughs> and uh, hang out with my yeah, family that's because true. that's yeah. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. our our time. It's our home time. Like I don't mm -hmm. go out. I stay mm -hmm. home. I'm with my family mm -hmm. either at home at my house or I'm at Fayetteville with my mom, my sisters, and them. It's mm -hmm. All, that's more of the family time than Christmas, which is weird to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But that allows my my siblings to do their thing with their family for Christmas. Yes. And then we come together at my mom's house for New Year's Eve. And that. so that's a bigger thing for us. That's mm -hmm. our celebration of bringing in the New Year together, being together, loving each other, and just mm -hmm. you know, because that's I I think that's more of what it's about. And I give love throughout the year, mm -hmm. so that's always my present. I always mm -hmm. try to. I always try to give love. So. Love is the Every best day. gift. Every day. If you are a faith or religious person, <laughs> says love covers so many things. It does. My dad was working out. I was working out with him. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Merry Christmas to me. Like yes. my dad and I working out, doing Shanti together. You know, mm -hmm. my, my mom and I cooking together. Like I'm in the kitchen with her. Right. Cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, my sister and I laughing at both of them throughout the day. Like to me, mm -hmm. like, you know, I. I didn't have any health issues this this break. I wasn't sick. My my family wasn't sick. You no, know, sister had a little cold. Right. You know, right. but you know, but we weren't stressed. Mm -hmm. We weren't agitated with each other. And I think, to, in my opinion, that's what I don't care if I was to buy gifts early in the year. This is just me to do it for the reason. Right. Of pleasing someone makes it tough for me. Period. <laughs> I mean, for real, it makes it tough for me. Mm -hmm. So it's not. So so it, it's it's not just. Uh, the holidays, holidays, it's not just that. People, I want us to be genuine. Yes. I want us to care for each other in unexpected ways. Yes. And I just want us to see stop you giving. You see that? I just want us <laughs> to stop giving. Stop, stop, stop giving your love away in the store. Stop giving your money yes. away in the store. And let's bring it home. And I promise you, home is happy, community's happy. And if yes. community's happy, society's happy. And society, I don't have to keep going from there. Y'all right. know where I'm going with it. Yeah. Take care of yourself. I think that if yes. we really, you know, got out of this, we would also take better care of ourselves. So, and yes. Yeah. Well, it sounded like you were closing it up. I'm about that, to. That is what I was getting ready to do. But okay. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open it up it's one more time, and then I'm gonna close it. We're back. Calling it. So yes, yes. Do what yes. you will. So, and and I will say that with the holidays being the you know most wonderful time of the year, people are the angriest. They're the meanest. Oh. They're the most depressed. Oh. They are the most just Speak. driving Speak. is a chore like Speak. it is so bad for this to be you know for the holidays to be the most wonderful time of the year and you're mm -hmm. doing these things from your heart but you're gonna fight over something at a mm -hmm. store like th this is not coming together this is not in love this is not what it's supposed to be it's not how it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and we can get out of that we can get out of that, we can get out of that. yeah just be honest with yourself, be honest with your loved ones, and know that this this tradition does not have to continue. I'm not saying don't celebrate. Mm -hmm. I'm saying don't 
get yourself upset. Don't make others upset. Don't stress. Don't max out money you can't have waiting Ooh. on tax season to pay off credit cards come on, come that you on. charged up in December. Like, mm. do what you can. Do what you feel. Do what is laid on your heart. Mm -hmm. Do and just give love and, and, and check on people because there are people who can't give, who aren't getting, mm -hmm. who all these other things, which is, again, why I work on the holidays because these people are left out and they're forgotten and they need mental health help. They mm. need someone to talk to. They need genuine love from unexpected places. Unexpected. And on, <laughs> you know what? On that note, I think that we can bid adieu. And I'm saying bid adieu to 2018. Yes. 2018 has been a great year. Yes. The fact that we did this, started it, we recorded them, we yes. got them out. Yes. We proud. Yes. Higher Ups University is the mm hmm Yes. So thank you for the videography. Yes. Um, on the lives yes. and for the editing on all the others. Oh. And y'all make sure y'all check out every one team because because 2019 is gonna be better than 2018. Yes, it is. And 2018 did not suck. It's been wonderful. It's been great. Many things have happened, and it can only get better year by year. So yes, let's 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 do this. It's on. It I'm looking is. forward to 2019. So I want to say happy friends, happy new year to you. Happy new year to you. Thank you. <laughs> and together we'll say happy new year to, to you. you. Happy new year. We're gonna see y'all in 2019, y'all. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Yes. Genuinely unexpected. Yes. All, All day. day. This, this is Adrian Charleston. You're going to fly. I'll inform you. It's short if it's sorry for you. Well, I already want you. So please eat the words I'm saying. Go ahead and take it. Even folks from the hood didn't accidentally make it. Would you put your time in? Make sure it can improve you. How do you know if it works? Does it give back to you? Question for the world. Ask yourself and see. The good thing about this, it doesn't matter what you believe. I know that it's a lot that you don't know, so you better learn. What will you do, young nation, when it's your turn? When it's your turn?